A lot of people like to shop in dollar stores to save money, but are you actually saving money on all the products? Right here is a common product purchased at Dollar Tree stores. It's LA's Totally Awesome Bleach. It's only 64 ounces. It now costs $1.50 for that bottle. So $3 a gallon for this bleach. Are you saving a lot of money by purchasing this or are you actually getting ripped off? In this video, you're going to find out because I'm going to be testing this bleach. Now I'm going to be performing three different tests. One is going to be with regular bleach, five and a quarter percent sodium hypochlorite. The other one is going to be the totally awesome bleach from the dollar store. And then I'm going to test 10% sodium hypochlorite for swimming pools. Each test is going to be performed exactly the same. I'm going to fill to the 160 ml line on the beaker using distilled water. And then I'm going to take the amount you see marked off on this dropper with the amount of totally awesome bleach into that amount of 160 or the swimming pool chlorine or the regular five and a quarter percent. Everything will be exactly the same. In order to compare the totally awesome bleach to the ordinary five and a quarter percent sodium hypochlorite bleach and the 10% swimming pool chlorine, I'm going to be using this new bottle of test strips, chlorine test strips. You can see expiration is nine of 27. This was just received yesterday, made in the USA. And there's a chart on the side. The color range will fall within these colors. It could vary a little bit in shade, but you'll be able to tell the range by comparing the test strip to the chart. Right here's the distilled water. So let's go to that 160 ml line. And that is perfect. Now I'm going to take the measured amount in the dropper of the LA's Totally Awesome Bleach from the dollar store, brand new bottle, right to that line right there. And now I'm just going to stir that around. Okay, the way the test strips work, place this in the solution, one second, take it out, shake off the excess, one minute on the clock. Once the one minute is up, you compare the color on this stick to the bottle, and that's roughly how many parts per million of chlorine is in this solution. So here we go. Now we're gonna wait Okay, so that's good. Place that right there. And you can see the color is very close in range to the 50 to 200. It's a little darker than the 50, so I'm figuring it's going to be around, let's say, 75 parts per million for that solution using LA's Totally Awesome Bleach from Dollar Tree. So this is all clean and dry. Let's go again to the 160. This time we'll be using Clorox bleach, regular five and a quarter percent sodium hypochlorite. And if you ever look inside the LA Awesome bottle, it's not going to have that yellow color. It's going to look like water which is a very bad sign. So now let's take the dropper, make sure it's nice and clean, the outside. I don't want any residue from the other solution. Dip it in for one second, shake it off, start the clock, 
And you can see already how much darker that is. Okay. It's going to fall in the range. It's definitely darker than the 200. It's not brown. So it's going to be in this range here. And I'm going to estimate around 250 parts per million for this one right here. The last one is going to be 10% sodium hypochlorite. Let's take a look at that. Once again to the 160 line. That's right on the line. Now I'm going to take some of this right here, 10%. Let's get the dropper. It's right on the line. Dip it for one second, shake the excess. Place it right on here, and this is definitely darker now. It's more brown or dark brown. Okay, let's take a look. And looking at the chart right here, I would say because this is darker than the 500, I would say it's in the five to 600 part per million range. Now let's take a closer look at the results to see if you're actually getting a good deal by buying LA's Totally Awesome Bleach at the dollar store. LA bleach, approximately 75 parts per million. Regular Clorox bleach, which is five and a quarter percent sodium hypochlorite, approximately 250 parts per million. So that's like 3.2 times that amount. And the 10% pool chlorine from Walmart is approximately 550 parts per million, which makes sense. It's around double the five and a quarter percent level. Regular Clorox bleach, three times stronger. Estimated strength of the LA Awesome Bleach is a ridiculously watered down 1.75%. So this is 64 ounces, you're paying $1.50, so $3 for the gallon. So 64 ounces, more than likely, they took regular five and a quarter percent bleach and only added about 20 ounces to this bottle and the rest is water. It's diluted all the way down to 1.75. Now the real good thing to do if you wanna save money and not get ripped off is do this. You wanna to go to Walmart and pick up a one gallon jug. The good thing is it's still a gallon, 128 ounces. When you go buy Clorox bleach or any other bleach now, they're ripping you off. It's no longer 128. It's down to 121. And I estimate in another year, it's going to be 115 ounces, just like the orange juice bottles went from 64 to 50 something to 48. The same thing is happening with the bleach. So if you buy this, you're getting one gallon. It's 10% sodium hypochlorite, which is a very strong level. And you can take that chlorine inside this bottle, dilute it with another one gallon jug of water, and you're going to end up with almost two gallons of Clorox regular bleach at approximately five to five and a quarter percent strength, and it's only going to cost you less than six bucks. Now that's how you shop smart, and that's what you need to do if you wanna save money. If you enjoyed the testing in this video, as well as the tip that I just gave you to save money, then be sure to share this video with others. Thanks for watching.